So look, if you think about quitting your nine to five, leaving your job, watch this video before you do, man. I've been there before. I done quit several jobs in my life and I done learned a lot from those situations and those moments. And I just want to share with you, you know, a few things to consider before you make that jump, before you make that leap of faith. And, uh, and yeah, just, just some things you can learn from, from my mistakes. And then also some game you can take away, you know, to just add before you finally make that jump and make that leap. So stick around, watch the rest of this video. Welcome to the channel game to live by. Hit that subscribe button for the boy. Hit that share button for the boy. If you know anybody that could benefit from this type of information. So, uh, back in, back in like 20, 2015, I, I quit my, my last job. And when I quit that job, I, I told myself, I'm like, I'm gonna never work for someone else ever again. I'm like, this will be the last time I'm, I'm punching somebody's clock, right? Before that, I have worked every job you could think of from like ninth grade, beginning of high school on up to, you know, my, my mid twenties. And uh, I'm talking, I don't work fast food. I don't work retail. I don't work uh, plant jobs, warehouse jobs. I don't work I don't worked a little bit everywhere, man. And it just never felt, it just never felt like me. It just never felt like what I, I, I felt I was called to do. It didn't feel like my purpose, no matter what job it was, I just never enjoyed punching somebody else's clock, having to report to somebody, ask them, can I go out of town? Ask them, can I call off of work? It just never, it just never sat right with me, bro. I've always struggled with working for someone else so the last job i was at i was working in a plant man i used to work for chrysler bro and at that time you know when i first got in everybody was like congratulating me it's like a big deal especially in detroit you know it's a big deal when you make it into the big three uh for chrysler or gm so you make it into one of those you kind of made it in the city you know Everybody knows you about to be getting the bonuses. You about to be getting a, a decent amount per hour, and it is it is good living. If you manage your your money well, you should be doing okay for yourself, right? Now people get in there and the money start coming so fast, and you know people blowing their money and, and spending it on whatever. But if you get in there and you manage your money right, you can run it up, and, and you can do very well for yourself. But for me, it just didn't it just didn't sit right with me, you know. Going in there every day, I would just be like, man, this just this can't be it. This can't be my life. This can't be how things play out. So I eventually got to the point where I quit. Now, what I didn't do and what I would advise anyone watching this to do before making a move like that. Right. At the time, I was mid 20s, had a daughter. My daughter was super young at the time you know she probably was like three two or three years old and i had a decision to make and so in that moment i made an impulsive decision and i just i just up and quit right i didn't have no plan i didn't know how i was about to make no money going forward i just knew i couldn't do it no more man uh at the time i was what was i doing i was i was i was pursuing music like a lot of a lot of cats do right and so i'm just like man i'm about to do this full time blah blah blah. blah. i had no plan and i would suggest that if you're considering leaving your job to become an entrepreneur and work for yourself please have a plan before you quit do not do it the way i did it. i just upped and quit and said i'm gonna figure it out later and that is not that's not wise. I wouldn't suggest doing it that way. I would suggest you make a plan and stick to that plan, right? So if you work, if you punch in the clock and you know that you got bills coming in every month and it costs this much money per month for you to pay all your bills and all that stuff, I would suggest you, you stack up a good six months to a year worth of money to where when you leave your job, you got a, a cushion that's going to hold you over because Typically, we think I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna start working for myself. I'm gonna be an entrepreneur, and everything ain't gonna blow up overnight, and then I'm gonna be rich, right? That's how that's how we think it's gonna go, and it almost never goes like that. Especially if you don't have a super strong drive and push and will to make it. You gotta work 
all day. You're going to be working more once you start working for yourself. It's going to be more work. It's going to be harder work when you become an entrepreneur. It doesn't get easier just because you ain't got to go punch nobody clock. Now, every dollar you make is dependent on you. It's dependent on the work you put in. It's nobody to just cut you a check. So if you don't have a super hard drive like that, just know it is not going to be easy. And so I would suggest setting a, a, a certain amount of money aside, stacking up enough money and putting it to the side to where once you leave your job, you got a big enough cushion to where you don't you don't uh, need your entrepreneurial journey to take off like tomorrow. And now you're struggling and you're eating noodles every day because you ain't got no money coming in. Your business didn't go as planned. You know, now you're struggling. Now you now you want to get your job back. So that's what I would say. The way that I left my job, I just upped and quit. That's the way I've always left any job. I just upped and quit. I was just like, I can't do it no more. I ain't doing it no more. But once you become older and wiser, you understand that it's better to have a plan. It's better to have things structured. And then you could just follow that plan. Yes, things may not always go as planned, but if you got something to follow, a blueprint, a game plan, it makes life a lot easier versus scrambling, trying to figure things out. So firstly, I would say make a plan. Sit down, go over your finances, figure out how much money do you need to be comfortable and live for six months to a year with no job. <clears throat> make a plan. Nextly, I would say consider and look into whatever field it is you think about going into if you about to quit your job and, and go the entrepreneurial route look at how that field is doing look at all the work that you're going to need to put in to become successful in that field because if you think you about to just say for example you got an idea to sell rubber bands right and you don't know any you ain't never seen any successful rubber band salesman you know if you look up how much money the people that sell rubber bands make and you see they ain't making no money and it's a very tough business to get into it just why are you setting yourself up to take a more difficult route about to leave your job where you got steady income to go and do something that doesn't have any proven track records or proven results now life is about to get really hard so it kind of goes back to having a plan, but like what field are you going to go to after you leave this job? Now, if you're not planning on going the entrepreneurial route, if you're just planning on leaving your job to go to another job, I would say have another job lined up and not only lined up, but everything is complete and you have a start date. Then you can then you can, you know, let your job know, yo, I ain't coming no more whatever. How have you going to make your exit, but have another job lined up have a start date, have your paper signed, all of that before you leave that last job. Because I've seen people go into interviews and they'd be like, yeah, you know, we're going we're gonna to hire you and all that stuff. And then something fall through and they done already left their old job. And now the new job is telling them they're not, they not hired no more. So just make sure everything is lined up. You know what field you're going into, entrepreneurial rise. You done studied it. You done seen all the work that you're going to have to put into it. Or you got another job lined up if you want to do another nine to five, but make sure it's already lined up and make sure that you got your start date and you starting soon before you leave that last job. <clears throat> also, know this, man. I just I briefly just spoke on it, but notice it's going to be some hard work, man. You leave this job. It's going to get very difficult. The grind starts now. Once you leave, the grind starts. Please don't think that it's just about to happen overnight, bro. Working for yourself is a full time job. You you know, you have no start time and no stop time. You always on the clock. When you're working for yourself, it's always something that can be done. It's always something to do when you're an entrepreneur. All the business relies on you if it succeeds or if it fails. So I see a lot of people had this misconception that entrepreneurs got it so easy or working for yourself is so much easier so i'm gonna leave my job where i have steady income and all my bills are paid and i'm gonna go the easier route to be an entrepreneur and you just got things so twisted bro entrepreneurs and especially successful ones they work way harder it's it's always something to do it's always some work to do everything depends on the success of your business depends on you so don't think you're about to get out here and things is just going to get easier 
So if you don't like your nine to five where you at and you think that's difficult, you think that hard, just know working for yourself, it's, it's even more work. I'm never off the clock. It's always something that you can you can be doing. And this is this isn't to discourage you from going that route. This is just to give you a realistic view. I see a lot of social media influencers. They talk as if it's just so easy for everybody to work for themselves and nobody should work for anyone. They, they make it sound like it's so easy. And we know realistically that's not the case. It takes us. It takes a certain type of dedication, a certain type of drive, even a certain type of financial cushion for you to be able to even pursue this, pursue whatever it is you're trying to pursue. You, you really can't have do it. You really get out of it what you put into it. So the more you pour into your business and you pour into yourself, the more you pour into it, the more you'll get out of it. But just know it's a process, bro. It takes time growing something from scratch, from ground zero. And then growing it into to not even something that's super successful to make you rich, but just to a point where you can like maintain your lifestyle. You can pay all your bills from something that you thought of and something that you created. Getting your business structured properly, right? Hiring hiring a, a business attorney to, to make sure all your stuff is in place. Getting you a tax attorney to make sure all your taxes are set up right. All of this stuff takes money and it costs money. And... You really ain't gonna be seeing no money once you first start your, your your new entrepreneurial business or your new journey. The money don't start coming in. It's gonna be a whole bunch of money going out to get that joint started. Not a lot of money coming in, if any money coming in. So please don't think it's just a cakewalk working for yourself, man. When I left my job back in 2015, I had to figure it out. Like I said, I didn't have no plan. So I would recommend you have a plan, but I had to figure it out. I'm, I'm like, all right, I quit my job. I ain't got to go punch a clock no more. But now what? Like, now what? I still have to feed my child. Still got to feed my daughter. I got to figure things out. And so I started figuring things out. But I've always been the type that's going to make things happen. I'm, I've never been a lazy person. I've never just going to sit back and just say uh, my life is over. Like, I've always been a go-getter and go get things done. So that's what I did. I got up and I went to go get things done. And from one thing to the next, I was just knocking things out and I was just becoming more of a entrepreneur. And I was starting to understand like, OK, this is a long journey. There's so many things you got to learn, especially if you come from a background of, you know, uh, people that didn't teach you how to run things properly. You're going to bump your head. You're going to make mistakes a lot. If no one taught you how to do it the right way. You got to figure it out. You got to seek knowledge. You got to look for this information to make sure you're doing things right. And all that stuff take time and all that stuff take money and it take effort and it take energy. It's going to be a lot of sleepless nights. So keep that in mind, man. Lastly, I would say on this on this topic, man, I could, I could speak on this all day because I've been doing it. For so long, bro, we talking uh, uh, basically a decade of me not having to punch anyone else's clock, you know, working for myself, making my own money, figuring things out, employing other people. It took me it took me a while to get to this point so I could speak on this all day. But lastly, I would just say, make sure that you're leaving this you want you leaving this nine to five. You want to quit this job. Make sure that you're doing it for the right reasons. Because I see a lot of people in situations where they may have a good job, they may be in a good in a good situation and they don't even realize it. And everything we do is going to take sacrifice. So if you thinking that, oh, man, the grass is greener over there, I could do better. It could be it could get better. I could do. So I'm going to leave this job and I'm going to go over there. Just please make sure you you leave your job for the right reason. You had a bad day at work or, you know, your supervisor said something to you that you didn't like or whatever the case may be. And in the moment, your instincts or your emotions are telling you to just leave, just quit, just throw it all away when it could have been fixed with a simple conversation with you and your supervisor, you and your boss. It could have been fixed with simple conversation and then you and then you back feeling good about your job, you know. So just make sure you leave it for the right reason. It is like. This is it. This is the end of the road at this job for me. There's nothing else that can be done for me to stay here. 
I'm out. I'm I'm know why I'm leaving. I'm leaving for good enough reasons and nothing nobody can say to convince me to stay. If that's where you at, that's where you're standing with it, then cool, you know, you take the next steps, all the things that I said and proceed and plan so that you can exit the right way and you're not out here struggling and you know. So weigh your pros and your cons, weigh your options, right? If I leave, how's my life going to look? How soon will I be able to start bringing some money in? How soon will I be able to get another job? Weigh all of the pros and the cons of you leaving this nine to five before you just up and quit. I'm not opposed to people working, you know, punching the clock. It's like you got to get it some type of way, man. It's, it's, it's unrealistic to just act like every single person out here is built to work for themselves. That's just not true. Everyone isn't built to work for themselves. Everyone isn't cut from that cloth to be an entrepreneur and you know yourself better than anyone. So if you know you're not cut from that cloth and you're not built to work for yourself, find a suitable job for you. Find something that that fits you that you don't mind going to. But you jump out in them them entrepreneurial waters, it's sharks out there. You got to swim. You got to make everything happen. You got to make shit shake for yourself, man. So just please keep that in mind before you make that move. Hopefully this video helps you in any kind of way. You know what I'm saying? If it did, just leave me with a subscribe, leave me with a like. I appreciate it a lot. But these are just things that was on my mind. I, I see a lot of people wanting to go that, that route of just being an entrepreneur or working for yourself. I just want to let you know the, the realistic side, you know, the side that a lot of people don't talk, talk about. It isn't all roses and glitter and just a bunch of money just waiting on you when you quit your job. Like it's going to take some work to get to it. it. The money is out here, but you got to work to go get to it. Ain't nobody that's about to hand it to you, man. We all competing for the same goal. So you got people that ain't sleeping. They making sure they get it done while you sleeping. You know, so if you're not ready for that life, if you're not ready to really compete and, and go go eat what you kill. I would say, you know, just consider it. Consider staying at your, at your job or finding a better job. So I got more videos on the way, man. Please subscribe, like to the channel, all that good stuff. And I'm going to get back with y'all soon, man. Peace.